All right, while I'm sitting in the car, I'll do a cold start and an electronics check. Um, the sun is shining right here, so the lighting is kind of bad, but um, I'll go ahead and fire it up now. Well, the battery was a little weak, but it fired up. Let it run a bit. Navigation looks old, but it works. Electronic valve controller. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, really, I don't know. Or maybe it's like a gear? What gear you're in? I'll have to check. Water temperature, boost works. Oil temperature, water temperature. The ETC machine is sitting up here. Mirrors are folded in. Oh, with this one. Left mirror doesn't work. Right mirror goes in and out. I switch to right. It adjusts. If I switch to left, it does adjust. So just the folding in and out doesn't work. Um, Wipers. Oh, that was the headlight. Sorry, it's not my car. Wipers work. I'll turn the headlights on. The horn does not work. Um, okay, I'll do. Clutch is loud. Shifting. It's kind of a uh, wild. I don't think it was a trans swap. It feels okay, but it's really loud. I'll have to see if that was a trans swap. I mean, it doesn't have an automatic uh, dash. So, I wonder if it has an upgraded shifter in there. Air conditioner. It's cold out, so I'm sure it's going to blow cold immediately. I like the blue lighting. Yeah, I mean, that's already cold. Turn the heat on. Yeah, it's already starting to get warm. It has a weird smell. It's blowing the vent into my face. Um, the water and the heat are not going up yet, so I'm not sure. Oh, uh, well, the water temperature is going up. Yeah, the, the water temperature is climbing. The oil temperature, I'll leave it running while I do the uh, lights check and everything outside. It's very tight. Side marker. Headlight is on. Blinker on. Headlight is on. Blinker on. Side marker works. I, mean, I think this is a straight pipe, so it's really loud. RPMs are fine. The idling is fine. Oh. 
at the engine video. Um, everything is factory, but it's it's been painted. I guess when they painted the body, they also painted everything. So the core support top is factory, uh, but it's just painted white. And the fender wells and everything. So with the accident, which I, I sent you the picture, being down here, um, I can't, you know, you've seen the picture and how it's been repaired. It's, it was dented there. Um, it didn't affect anything on the top of the car, which is good. All of the sealant is all factory. There's no rust coming through. The left strut as well, the same. There's a little bit of surface rust in there, which I uh, can't focus on, but I got a picture of it. Battery tray is all clean underneath. It has the manifold, painted valve cover, looks nice. I don't know who that is. Part of where it's been repaired in there. Resealed. side of the bonnet looks good it's all fresh paint this headlight bracket is cracked but not broken off headlights don't look like they've been opened very shiny yeah there's some surface rust but other than that, I mean, with it being painted, it's, it's quite clean. I don't see any hiding, um, corrosion, or rust, anything of that nature. This engine bay is pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna try to take shorter videos for sending reasons. Um, the front bumper, ah, uh, my, the paint is, uh, it's a very nice paint job. I mean, the whole car looks very nice, but I mean, down the whole side here is quite dull. It maybe it needs to be wet sand and polished. Um, I'll get to that door. Um, but as far as the bumper goes, there's no cracks on the GTR style lip. Intercooler has a couple of uh, chips. It looks like, but like a, or a rock maybe hit it. But other than that, I mean, there's no solid damage to it. Um, underneath the car, just the same. I, I have all the underbody pictures I sent you. Um, there is some surface rust on this little bar here, which can be, you know, just sanded down and sprayed and you won't see that again. Um, they put the GTR style lip on the ER34 bonnet. So the, it's just a, um, regular ER34 GTR style bumper. It's not, been, you know, the, the hood's still the ER34. Wax. All right, bumper, the headlights, the shirt, and the video for the engine. It's really nice. All right, the bonnet. I did see some, uh, there is some small chip, like dirt in the paint. Uh, see if I can. Yeah, you can see the, the shining a little bit. There's like a rock chip here that's been painted over. Um, same with a little dirt in the paint there. I mean, you probably can't see it. And again, the paint up on this side is a little dull. Other than that, fender. Little bit of orange peel, but good paint job. This fender as well. 
Um, I would much rather have, you know, a little bit of dirt in the paint than have a door ding or a crease, which really stresses me out if I see it. Uh, mirror. The pillar. The paint looks like it's chipping a little bit there, maybe when they pulled the tape off. I'm not sure. But the seals are nice. Wipers look good. Glass, all the trim. Um, this is really smooth. Maybe it was painted. Chip. Yeah, the rear window spoiler looks good. Top, a little bit of orange peel in the middle there. On the roof. Check this side. straight, no scratches, the pillar, seals, this one's not as smooth as the other side, all right, door, ah, good, that's just uh, a little bit of dust, if you look on the door, there's no dents, but you can see how dull that is there. I mean, this paint is exactly the same. They use the same shop to paint their cars um, where it's kind of shiny here. But then if you look there, there's no reflection on the car next to it. But I think that can just be wet sanded and polished and look like a brand new paint job. Again, this side, there's no dents or dings. Other side from the door. This side is not as bad as far as the orange peel and the dullness. I mean, you can see the, the reflection of this car pretty good in the door there. Um, on the back there, again, is dull where it's quite shiny and reflective here, but if you go up there, you lose that reflection right around here. But, no dents or dings, it looks very good. There's no, um, you know, pressure cracks on either of the side skirts. All right, for the rear of the car, the trunk looks very good. Um, I took a picture of the run mark in the spoiler. Passenger tail looks good. The arrow is nice. There's no cracks on that. Driver's side tail. Again, no cracks on the arrow. That straight pipe, no catalyzer. Side looks good. There's some dirt in the paint here. A couple. This was the run I was talking about. And that's water, but then the run is right there. Rear window. Spoiler. The rear is tinted just a little bit. All right, start with the interior now. Um, I don't want, it's kind of windy. I don't want the door to open and hit that car. Uh, you know, there's no elbow cracks happening. It's a little dirty. Uh, other than that, nothing, it really looks worn. 127,000 kilometers it was taken care of. Um, I can't remove this plastic, but from what I can tell, there's no, I, I looked under it, no stains or holes on the seat. I'm gonna try to get in here now. Go, I made it. The only fading on the knob is right here on knobs. On the light switch. Oh, 
I said the horn doesn't work here. Maybe this is it. I'm not sure. They got a horn button. I don't really want to touch it and, and find out. That's kind of funny. Uh, the dash is completely clean. No cracks or bubbles. Gauges. This has been painted. Maybe it was faded, but the, the shiny black does look good um, with the boost gauge, oil temp, water temp. I showed you that this worked. The shifting, I asked him about it. Um, it's a factory manual, of course, but probably the shift linkage has been changed, so it's a little shorter um, than the factory throw, which is why it's kind of loud, too. Um, Exidy clutch, so that clutch is super loud. Not sure what that is. I can't get my head down there. Um, factory wheel is nice. It's a little dirty along here. I took a picture of the crack that's right here. Other than that, this is, uh, if you look under there, it's kind of peeling. This is like a replacement leather piece instead of the cloth fabric they usually have. Passenger seat as well was very good condition. Um, armrest, everything is good. They don't have a cigarette lighter in here does have a weird smell, but I think that's just the older car smell. Rear seats need to be vacuumed, but they're good too. Yeah, the car is in really good condition. Yeah, minimal scratching along here. I mean, those just always get chewed up, but it's not that bad. Yeah, everything checks out. It's nice.